What's up everybody on this mileage unknown I am over at Trav's and we are going to work on Penelope unfortunately I got so burned out just from things going wrong with Penelope that she sat way longer than she should have but I've got parts to change the plugs do the tune look at the carburetors again do a little bit of everything to get it running right and I've got a new exhaust system for Penelope I tried really hard to keep so much stock on the car that I think it might be hurting it a little bit. So we're going to be pulling off the heater boxes, the stock muffler, every bit of that exhaust system and putting on a new exhaust that I got from ISP West. We'll take a look at that in a minute. So a little bit closer look at the over the top header and exhaust system I picked up from ISP West for Penelope. So I opted for the black ceramic coated version, which hopefully will give me years of it looking nice now unfortunately when I got J tubes those aren't ceramic coated so we might wrap those just to help with the heat a little bit and I got their install kit now if I was keeping the heater boxes we'd be using this tube because we're not keeping the heater boxes we'll be plugging up the the ports on the fan shroud which I'll show you those when we get to it So we have the whole exhaust out at this point. And when you see how many and how big the components are to the factory exhaust, I'm guessing, I don't know, Trav, what do you think? I think we lost like 60 pounds. Tra Trav thinks about 60 pounds too. Honestly, the stock muffler feels almost as heavy as the whole new exhaust system. So. Just for giggles, we may actually pull out a scale and weigh everything. Cause I am kind of curious to see how much weight we lost or will lose with the new exhaust system. Now we've got the header wrap soaking in on some water. Trav's done quite a bit of this header wrap shenanigans. And it seems like this is the easiest way to work with it. Now we're gonna wrap just the J tubes. The J tubes weren't ceramic coated, but the rest of the header and exhaust is ceramic coated. So that'll hopefully help with the heat on the, the main exhaust as it is, but we wanted to give the J-tubes a little bit of extra heat protection to the rest of the in, uh, engine compartment. Now, while we were doing everything, I found one of my spark plug wires, let me find the bad spot, had actually been laying on the exhaust and I don't know that it made it all the way through, but that's definitely a weak spot where spark could jump pretty easy, causing the car to, I don't know, run as bad as it has before. So on the heater box on that passenger side, this is what actually come through the engine tin, whereas the, the driver's side doesn't have the same mount. I don't know if this is a heater box that would have been used for different cars with different emission setups but that spark plug wire was laying on top and melted to the bolt right there. Well, we're gonna plug on. Trav's, Trav might need some extra hands wrapping up this heater tube. So So the factory exhaust, about 67 pounds. So the new exhaust weighs a whopping 19 pounds versus 67. So we dropped pretty close to 50 pounds off of the car. <laughs>
we're getting everything buttoned up. I'm not gonna lie, some of the fitment lineup between the J-tubes and the header itself are a little questionable. We'll see how these, I've always kind of hated these donut gasket clamp arrangements. Maybe I should have sprung for the extra money and bought the bolt-on J-tubes and bolt-on header, but we'll see how it all comes together. Um, tightening up some of the flanges seemed questionable in a couple moment spots so i'm wondering how tight we've actually got this this might be a case of fire everything up let it run let it cool retighten kind of not sure but while we're under here if you noticed in that box opening video i did there was these weird little plugs so once we removed all of the heater boxes and everything else the fan the cooling fan for the engine is all open so if you leave this open, all the fan that should be running across the head, the cylinders, cooling the engine, is just going to be pouring out the side and not doing any good. So I figured it was easier to show from the bottom these plugs that ISP West had when I bought everything. We'll just pop right into that hole. I'll screw that wing nut all the way down tight. It expands and you're good to go. It's funny, one of the guys in the unboxing video made a comment that I probably could have got these cheaper at a hardware store, which is probably true. But ISP West has always been awesome to me. Every question I've ever had on the car, on parts for the car, they've always answered. And I don't feel bad about paying a couple extra dollars for a plug from somebody that's helped me out as much as ISP West has. So Trav and I are going to carry on. Hopefully we'll have this thing fired up in a bit. Here's a look at how it is installed. Can't see much of the flange below the apron, which is nice. The tip comes out in the factory spot. Man, I will say there are some things. The muffler itself is pretty much right on the bellows. So I'm not sure how that's going to happen over time. There's just not much we can do about it. Um, the J-tubes to header flange angle was a little questionable, but it's all together. It looks pretty good. We might try and fire it up, burn some of the nastiness off and see what it sounds like. pretty good I can smell the uh, the header wrap warming up and shrinking sounded <laughs> I will say the car still is actually nicely quiet I was kind of you know part of why I wanted to keep the stock exhaust was I loved how quiet this car was cruising down the road but honestly man this exhaust sounds great it might get a little bit louder over time as it breaks in but it sounds really good now I don't have my microphone hooked up so I'm hoping you can hear me I did that intentionally because sometimes my mic and exhaust sounds don't play too well. it was rebuilt as a 1776 single port and may 
maybe that stock exhaust was just choking it down just a little bit. I've never gotten it to run the way I thought it should after the rebuild. And even when it did run good, then it ran hot. So part of me was is hoping as well that opening up the exhaust a little bit won't choke it down so much. Maybe it'll run a little bit cooler in the long run. I definitely need to retune the car because it doesn't want to idle quite right right now, but it's also been sitting for a long time. There's old gas and uh, yeah, man. I'm excited for how good this actually sounds. I don't know if you can hear it because it is quiet. But oh my gosh, I'm this is the biggest win we've had on Penelope, I think, because it feels totally different to me. Oh I should have done it a long time ago. Should have done it a long time ago. My phone's almost dead. I left it recording the sun for 30 minutes straight. So there might not be a whole lot more recording. I am super excited because I feel like for once Travis and I had a video that was all win and it's been a long time since we had one that was all win. That's going to be it for this Mileage Unknown. Stay tuned for more car shenanigans.